what is going on everybody nico back for another pokemon scarlet and violet video today we are going to talk about every new evolution that occurs in pokemon scarlet and violet all of the special ones whether it be through a stone whether it be through certain conditions being met there are a ton of new pokemon that evolve by certain methods and i'm going to show you each and every one of them now i do already have youtube shorts up for these particular pokemon so if you need to see a certain one again i will have them all chaptered in this video but i also will have all the shorts listed in the description below for you guys to go click directly to so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are subscribed for more pokemon scarlet and violet content like this in the future and be sure to check out the discord where people over there playing pokemon all the time but let's get into it so first things first let's start with all of our nice shiny stone pokemon stones are very easy to acquire in this game so these are pretty easy to get your hands on first up we have citadel which you can get on the ice mountain in the game and this evolves through an ice stone ice stones can be found anywhere throughout this ice mountain they're just kind of a random drop you can get them from using the let's go feature you can get them from doing uh picking up random items on the ground but citadel uses the ice stone it's a very easy pokemon to evolve next up we have capsicid this is the new chili pepper pokemon that evolves into Skull villain and this evolves through a firestone now firestones once you hit a decent point in the game you could just go to the deli bird service and buy firestones waterstones thunderstones and leaf stones can all be bought this way at the deli bird present store next up we have tadbulb tadbulb evolves through a thunderstone so again once you hit a certain point in the game you're able to go ahead and get yourself a thunderstone through the deli bird presence uh, method it's not that difficult it's like three thousand polka dollars for an evolution stone at this uh store so very easy to do very easy to evolve next up we have three pokemon first being relord that evolves into rabska then we have pomo into palma and then bramblin into bramblegast all of these pokemon evolve the exact same way okay this method is interesting because there's been a lot of people having issues with this particular method of evolution this method requires you to throw the pokemon out into the overworld and just start running each of these pokemon requires 1000 steps in order to evolve while running in the overworld however it has been confirmed that you need to do this all in one sitting you can't go ahead and do 500 here 200 here 300 here no you need to do every one of these in one sitting now I find this best to just find a town, run around for about five minutes just to make sure you're safe, and then use your experience candies in order to gain one level and evolve the Pokemon. This is why I never had any issues with it because I was doing it for a video. So I would simply run around the town and just kind of do something else while the video was getting recorded, and then I would evolve the Pokemon immediately after. So I never had any issues or experienced any issues because that's the only way I'd been doing it. So that is how you do this particular evolution. Next up, we have Grievard, and Grievard is not really that difficult, but it just requires a certain condition to be met. First off, it needs to be level 33, which is easy enough, but the next thing it needs to have is it to be nighttime, and nighttime is something in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that, you know, usually in the past, we would simply go to our date and time settings in our Switch and change it to whatever we needed. That's a thing of the past. We can't control the time it's set to its own thing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can mess with your date and time on your Switch and see if you get lucky in the time changes in Scarlet and Violet, but it's not going to be as simple as it used to be. So that's all all you got to do simply wait for night time to roll around evolve it to level we'll level it up to level 33 and it'll evolve into houndstone next up is giraffe rig giraffe rig got a new evolution this generation for rig giraffe and it's a fairly simple process to evolve it after you catch your giraffe rig simply level it up to level 32 and it will learn the move twin beam twin beam is the move required for this pokemon to evolve if you do not have twin beam on this pokemon it will not evolve into frigoraph once you have twin beam level it up again and it'll evolve into frigoraph very simple process same goes for dunsparce into dud dunsparce in this game it is the exact same process just with a different move level up dunsparce to level 32 get hyper drill on this pokemon it has to have hyper drill in order to evolve once you have hyper drill level it up again and it'll evolve into the dunsparce the dunsparce does have two different forms so the two segment and the three segment i believe at this time it's just random we don't haven't figured out what causes it to evolve one way or the other I would say that now we are getting into the trickier portion of the evolutions. A lot of those earlier ones were fairly simple, but this is actually going to, it's going to start ramping up a bit. So first up, 
I want to talk about Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul is the new Mimic Chest Pokemon that came out in Scarlet and Violet. We saw it before the release. We saw its roaming form in Pokemon Go. It's a very cool Pokemon, and it has quite a condition to be met. Scattered throughout the Paldea region, there are Gimme Ghoul chests, which are the normal uh, Gimme Ghoul chest form Pokemon you can battle, and there are roaming form Gimme Ghouls. The roaming form Gimme Ghouls can give you anywhere from my experience one to five Gimme Ghoul coins, whereas the chests that I've encountered have given me anywhere from 50 to 70 Gimme Ghoul coins. These coins are the requirement in order to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Goldango. Gimme Ghoul requires 999 coins in order to evolve. Simply go out in the world and find these particular Gimme Ghoul chests. That's the method I use. Don't bother with the roaming form Gimme Ghouls. They're not going to give you enough and it's going to take you so much longer. I will post a picture here and I will source wherever I got the picture from uh, where the Gimme Ghoul chests are scattered throughout the Paldea region. So that way you guys can go out and find them easily. The Gimme Ghoul chests are the best method. It's going to be the fastest way for you to get the coins so that way you can evolve it. Once you do have the 999 Gimme Ghoul coins, however, you just simply level the Pokemon up and it will evolve into Goldango. Next up is Primeape into Annihilate. This one is not extremely difficult, but something that could be uh, missed. It requires a certain move, much like for Rigorath and Dunsparce. However, it is a move that has to be used in battle, much like uh, Stantler had to use a certain move in Legends Arceus to evolve into Weirdeer. That's the same process here. So at level 35, you're going to be able to learn Rage Fist on Primeape. This is a ghost type move and you're going to need to use rage fist 20 times in battle in order for you to evolve the pokemon after you have used rage fist in battle 20 times without you know missing anything it doesn't have to be in a row but you have to use it 20 times in battle missing does not count and if it's not effective on a pokemon you're just going to be frustrated that you ran into that pokemon in the first place but after you use it 20 times in you're going to be able to actually evolve the Pokemon just by leveling it up. It's that easy, but something that could be overlooked if maybe you see the move and you're like, I don't want to teach it a ghost type move. Just make sure that you evolve your Pokemon. Next up is Finizen. Finizen is the new Dolphin Pokemon. And while it's not super difficult to read the condition level wise, to get the other condition, it's kind of tricky. So the Pokemon needs to be at level 38 when it evolves. However, you have to be using the union circle function. This is the feature that allows you to enter another player's world and be able to interact with them and see their overworld as well. This is a requirement to evolve Finizen into Palafin. And I mean, you find somebody, join a discord, message some people. Uh, you have to, you can do it with yourself if you have both copies of the game and two switch, but you have to be in a union circle party and level the Pokemon up to level 38 or beyond in order to get it to evolve into Palafin. Next up, we have Bisharp into King Gambit, and this is an interesting one because it involves a new mechanic featured in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet called the Pack System, where you will occasionally, while running through the wild, you'll find a like high evolution Pokemon surrounded by their lowest evolution form. So example that I always bring up is Luxray. You'll see a Luxray in the wild surrounded by Shinx. That Luxray is what's known as a Pack Leader. These are scattered all throughout the region. You're able to find them and Bisharp, in order to evolve into King Gambit, must defeat three pack leader Bisharps in battle. I find the easiest way to do this is enter this portion of the map. It's like the bamboo forest on the top right corner of the map. And the easiest way that I found is simply go and teach your Pokemon Low Kick. This is a very easy TM to craft. It doesn't require a whole lot of resources. I believe it's just Mankey materials. And it it is a four times effective move against other Bisharps. So it's very, very easy to simply get into battle and immediately knock out the Pokemon and keep moving. Now these don't spawn super quick. So you're gonna have to run in circles a while till you find them, but you only have to defeat three of them. So it's not too much of a slog. And then after you've defeated three, level up the Pokemon and it'll evolve into King Gambit. The final Pokemon on this list is one I waited to the end to share because it is a bit of a process. And that is evolving Charcadet into either Armor Rouge or Stalu Reg. And it's not like a super difficult process, but there are multiple steps in this process. So first up, it depends on your game. If you're playing Scarlet, you're going to get Armor Rouge. If you're playing Violet, you're going to get Salyu Reg. That simple. And the process changes just slightly depending on the game. In Scarlet, you're going to go and need to knock out 10 Bronzer or Bronzong, doesn't matter which. It, and they're scattered all throughout the Paldea region, all throughout the region. 
However, in Pokemon Violet, you need to knock out Sinisty, 10 Sinisty, and you can do this outside of Alfernada Town. This is the best place to do it. Uh, there just seems to be a really high spawn rate of Sinisty over there. And after you do this, you're, the whole point of this is you're collecting the resources from either Bronzor or Sinisty. You're going to head to Zapacoco Town. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but it's more fun to say. So that's what I'm going with, Zapacoco. Go to Zapacoco Town. You're going to talk to this old lady. Talking to the old lady, she will then offer a trade for either the Auspicious Armor in Pokemon Scarlet or the Malicious Armor in Pokemon Violet. And these two items are the items required to evolve the Pokemon. So trade whatever resources you collected, whether it be Bronzer or Sinisty, get the armor, and then simply give it to Charcadet, and that'll evolve it into the respective Pokemon. It's not that difficult to process, but like I said, there's multiple steps to it, so I wanted to make sure I saved this to the end because there was just so much going on. But that is every special evolution in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, guys. I hope you found this video entertaining. Like I said, I will add chapters to break down every Pokemon in this video so you can go back and re-reference or you can check out the short in the description below. But like I said, that's it. If you found the video entertaining and helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content like this in the future from me. Also, like I said at the start of the video, make sure you check out the Discord. Fun place to be. People over there hanging out, trading, showing shinies off, doing this, that, or the other. Just talking Pokemon. Fun place to be. Also, check out Dubby, my energy drink partner. I got some this morning because I have been sleep depriving myself since this game has come out. And it is an energy drink. Throw a little bit of it in your water zero sugar zero calories very good stuff i'm sipping on the peach and beach flavor which is peach mango very very good but check that out 10 percent off with code nico and if you want to see more from me check out this video where i show you guys how to catch an additional version of your legendary pokemon in scarlet and violet you at the end of the game you're able to get a legendary but it's your ride legendary you're able to get another one that you're able to trade so check that out and check out this video showing off shiny breeding in pokemon scarlet and violet and if you want to do masuda method you want to get some shinies check that out but until next time peace